Hey Techno Studs, let's go over summarization. So in this video, we're gonna cover summarization and what that looks like. In this video, we'll talk about what summarization is. We'll also talk about supernetting and what that is. We're gonna then get into how you actually uh, summarize or supernet your different networks. And then we'll wrap things up by, by a little bit of a caution about discontiguous networks and what to avoid. In one of my prior videos, I had mentioned that these are routers. They route traffic. They look at the destination IP address and make a determination of where that packet needs to go. What these routers do is route that information. And in order to route that information, they need to know where all the networks are at on the network. So they create these tables of all of the different networks that they can see out there. Now they exchange this information back and forth. So they have a running idea, uh, this idea of all of the networks and where all those networks are located at. Now the problem is, is that these routing tables can get really large. If you've got lots of networks that are out there, it, they can get really long, especially if, we, especially if you're doing VLSM and breaking them down into all these really small little tiny pieces, all these different networks, and you've got this huge routing table. So there are ways that we can condense that routing table and summarization allows us to do that. Summarization allows us to take a lot of uh, smaller networks and, and group them all together in a much larger network. So that's network summarization. One way that that might look like is let's say you subnetted and you've got zero through 31 here. You got 32 through 47 as another network. You got 48 through 55 as another network and 56 through 63 as another network. You could summarize this all as one statement that represents all of those networks. You wouldn't want to do this on the router that's touching all of these different networks because it needs to know how to get into each one of those networks. But then from that router to the rest of the routers, then it would just advertise one route. It's a way of consolidating a lot of these smaller networks into one network. Let's give an example of what this might look like. Over here, I have one network and over here, I have a different network. So over here, let's say this is a 172.16.0.0 network with a slash 24. So we borrowed eight bits. And so it's just the last octet that has the hosts in it. And then over here, let's say this is a 172.16.1.0 slash 24. So these are within this uh, network right here would be routed back and forth between these two networks. But going out of this network, they don't necessarily need to know that this network is a separate network from this network. So we could actually summarize this as a 172.16.0.0 slash 23. That slash 23 would include both of these networks right here as it goes out. And so this would be a summary. It's summarizing these multiple networks down here, in this case, just two networks, to the rest of the world. Or perhaps maybe we have a lot more networks that are in here that are all connected throughout here. And maybe we just advertise it as a 22 or a, a you know, it could be whatever, networks cover all of the ranges that we have in our whole network here. So that is a summary route when we group everything up into one network statement and that's what gets advertised out. There's also this idea called supernetting. Supernetting is the idea that we don't have to stay within the classful boundaries. So an example of this is, let's say this is a 192.168.0.0 slash 24. And this is a 192.168.1.0 slash 24. A summary route that would summarize both of these would be a 192.168. 
0.0.0 slash 23. That would include both of these networks in that one statement. And what it also is, is it goes beyond that. It's, it's less than we've actually gone where we're not borrowing bits from the A class C. It's taking away that class C altogether because it's a slash 23. A class C is supposed to be a slash 24. So we've gone outside the boundaries of this classful routing. And so that's this idea of supernetting is when you're grouping them all up and it's going beyond the boundaries of that classful addresses. So how do you do this summarization? Well, one is you can use the, sum the visualization either box or table to summarize these routes. And I've really already given you a glimpse into how to do that. But you can also do it using the binary numbers. So here I have several binary numbers or several networks, I should say, that I want to translate. It's a 10100.100.0 slash 24. I've got a 101.0 slash 24, a 102.0 slash 24, and a 103.0 slash 24. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to convert those all into binary numbers. So I've got that all uh, all uh, already done for us. And then I look at what are the similarities. So all these zeros are the same, all these zeros are the same. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to find the first place where they're actually different, which would be the line would be drawn right here. All of these are the same bits right there. So that's where I'm going to want to summarize this. So what I could do is I could then drop these down, the ones that are all similar. I can drop down uh, to this last line right here and I will end right there. So that's where my line is drawn. And then I'm going to zero out the rest of these just like that. So there now, this is going to be my network address. So if I turn that back into a decimal number, I'd get 10.100. Dot 100 dot zero, and this would be a slash, if I count this up, would be a slash 22. So now I've summarized all of these networks into one address, 10 100 100 dot zero slash 22. So that is how you summarize. There is one caution that I have with that, and that is with discontiguous networks. This works as long as you're summarizing a, at a router that has all of these networks behind it. But let's say there's one of these networks, let's say this network right here exists in a far off distance, somewhere not any close, not connected to this router, not behind this router, somewhere else then you could cause some problems if you try to summarize with this network being in a whole nother location. And that could possibly be problematic. So you would wanna watch out to make sure that you, if you are summarizing, if you're doing some sort of summarization, that it makes sense that you don't have some network that's, that's, uh, that's out of bounds, that's way off in another location. Here's another visualization of that. Let's say I'm breaking this down into, I've got this network here, and I've got uh, this network here, and this network here, and I create a network summary of this right here. And that's what's being broadcasted out from my router. However, this network that's right here exists in a whole nother location. What could end up happening is that some devices may be sending traffic to your router in for this network right here, even though that network really is somewhere else. And so that's where you need to watch out for. And I'll explain this in one other way as well. Once again, I don't want to get too much into the routing things of this because it, it really is not part of this course about how routing happens. But I just want to make sure that we understand one of the things you need to watch out for. So here again, let's say this router right here is telling the rest of the world, direct all traffic going to 12.0.0.0 slash eight to me. So all traffic going to any of the networks in there is gonna to go to this router right here. 
But let's say far off in a diff different part of the world, we have a 12.0.1.0 slash 24 network. Then traffic going to this network right here could accidentally be getting to this router right here. And that's a problem. So that's just the, the, the thing that we want to watch out for with this discontiguous networks. In this video, we talked about summarization, how we can summarize many different networks into one network statement. We also talked about when that goes beyond those classful boundaries, we, we call that supernetting. We also talked about just how to do that, how to break it down into binary numbers and figure out what is exactly the same and then draw a summary network based off of that information. And then we wrap things up by talking about discontiguous networks that you wouldn't want to advertise a route, a summary route that includes a network that could be way off in some distance that's not behind that router. Just something to watch out for.